The Gemini Live Mode is really amazing. It is basically a feature on the Android and iOS versions of Gemini that lets the AI to see exactly what's going on on the screen and even access your webcam so it knows what you're seeing and therefore can give you a more accurate and helpful information. But unfortunately, this feature is not yet available for a desktop version. If you go to the website gemini.google.com, there is no option to enable the live mode on Gemini. But there is actually a workaround that lets you use the live mode on Gemini. So here's how you can do it. First, let's go to aistudio.google.com and then you can log in with your account. So this is the URL and then log in with your Google account and then navigate to stream. And after that, you can select to share Gemini your webcam or your share screen or your what you're seeing on your screen right now. And in this example, I'm going to go with the share screen method. And let's select this screen. And after that, you can click this button and you can start speaking with Gemini and it knows exactly what you're seeing or what you're referring to. And I'll do some quick demonstration. Okay, hey Gemini, can you tell me what you're seeing right now? I see a picture of a sunflower on a Pixabay webpage. The sunflower has bright yellow petals and a dark center, and the background is a clear blue sky. Okay, can you tell me how to download this picture? Sure. On the right side of the page, you should see a green button that says download. Click on that button. Then a pop-up window will appear with different sizes. Choose the size you want and click the download button again. Okay, I think the picture has been downloaded. Great! You can usually find the downloaded picture in your computer's downloads folder. Okay, now I want to search a different flower. I want to search for a, let's say, a different flower on this website. Can you tell me how do I navigate on this website to search a different flower? Sure. At the top of the page, you should see a search bar. Click on that search bar and type in the name of the flower you're looking for. For example, rose or tulip. Then click the search button or press enter on your keyboard. Okay, but I cannot click that button at all. So I cannot click the search bar area. What's going on here? It looks like there's a pop-up window in the way. You'll need to close that pop-up window first. There should be a close button, usually an X, in the top right corner of the pop-up. Okay, let me search for Rose. All right, you should now see the search results for roses. You can browse through the images and download any picture you like following the same steps before. Well, that's really amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and instruction. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Let okay, so that's basically how you can use it. And you can start all over again if you want to start a new stream. And I think there's no limit. I haven't reached any limit on how many times you can use this tool. But uh, I think you have to use it uh, wisely because I believe there is going to be a limit. But maybe Google is a bit generous when it comes to the live mode on Google AR Studio. And also, you can actually change a few settings like the token, the resolution, and some other settings that a bit too advanced but even the, double, the default setting is good enough for just basic usage so that's how you can use the live mode on the desktop version of gemini and if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day